Welcome back to Politics HQ and New Central Television. The 2024 Edo governorship elections are still about a year away, but fireworks have already begun in the state as top dogs have stated their interest in the governorship race or in seeing the emergence of the anointed candidate. The All Progressive Congress ruling PDP and the Labour Party have all restated their commitment to ensuring their victory at the polls. Some of the major names involved the politics of the election include a former governor of the state, Oseremen Osumbo, former minister, Clement Agba, and others who have expressed interest in the state's top political office. Tonight on Politics HU, I have Honorable Paul Ohombam, a Doe State APC chieftain. Uh, a warm welcome to you, uh, Honorable Ohombam. Uh, thanks for joining us on Politics HQ. Thank you very much. Now, Arobo, yeah. could you provide us uh, with an overview of the political landscape in Edo State today, highlighting the major political shifts and events that have brought us to the upcoming 2024 uh, governorship election? Is it looking like a, a, a battleground of, uh, of an election that is going to happen next year? Thank you very much. Uh, we are approaching a do state governorship election in 2024, and all the parties are yearning to gain power, particularly APC, because we had the power before uh, the governor went to PDP and took power to PDP. The last election came, and uh, this time around, we want to take power back. But the real issue now is who takes the power? Mm -hmm. Edo State is uh, standing on the tripod. We have the Edo North Centurial District, we have the Edo South Centurial District, we have the Edo Central. In all these years, Edo North and South Centurial District, they have had their own historical possibilities. They've had the past 60 years and eight years together. But Edo Central have not had any opportunity. This is why the agitation, the clamor, that Edo, the next governor must come from Edo Central has been not hit up. Now, uh, what we are saying is that there should be uh, equity in recognition. There should be equity in resources. And we must know that without Edo Central, the Edo State will not be complete. And the truth of the matter is Edo Central parade responsible, qualified, and powerful men too. No matter what you say today, any attempt to carry on and Edo South people contesting, if the power goes to Edo South and cut off Edo Central, it becomes a sort of dynastic rule. It will be 60 years on the stretch, and that will be injurious to unity in the state. Now, for now, the purpose that, of uh, unity. Now, Honorable yes, Ombam, uh, permit me to come in. Here, you are from Edo yeah. South, uh, but you've said uh, yeah, that for the purpose of unity, it should go to Edo Central. Yes. Now, stakeholders from Central, Edo Central, yes. stakeholders from Edo Central Senatorial yeah. District are actively lobbying for their zone to produce the next governor. Could you explain the strategies yeah. and alliances they are forming to the extent of their success in building support uh, from other regions? Yes. Yes, they have uh, gone around and uh, even their traditional rulers are involved, political actors are involved, and they have pleaded with Edo South, even Edo North, Centurial District. But you see, these two regions, uh, two, these two Centurial Districts see parade men who are also yearning for the position. That is where the danger is. What we are, the gravamen of my contention is that power should go to Edo Central so that we obliterate any form of social disequilibrium that can come up. What we are saying is that there should be that civic friendship that can guarantee free citizenship. Edo Central is part of Edo State. Edo Central is equal to Edo South and Edo North. Edo Central has one a senator, Edo North has one senator, and Edo South has one. So the truth of majority dominating minority, it amounts to tyranny of majority. But there can also be tyranny of the minority in the long run. And this can lead to 
uh, so, social dis dislocation and uh, the ties of friendship will no longer be kept and the cause of relationship will not be honored. This is why we are saying now is the time for Edo Central to produce so that we complete the circle. When it was Ben the State, Edo Central, as it is today, they had only two local governments, Okpewo and Agbazilu, and they, they were not five like this. And Ben the State, with all other tribes, Hello, Honourable Paul Ohombamu, are you there? Uh, we seem to have some connection issues with our guest, Honourable Paul Ohombamu. Uh, we're currently discussing the governorship uh, election race in 2024 in Edo State. Now, uh, Honourable Ohombamu, let's talk about something that has caught the attention of many political uh, observers in Nigeria, the ongoing discord uh, between Governor uh, Obaseki and Deputy Governor Philip Schreiber is a matter of uh, interest. Uh, can you provide examples for yes. what, what's the latest and uh, what do you think influenced this uh, conflict, uh, so to speak? And have they been able to uh, manage their differences? They have uh, resolved similar resolution. You don't know, you cannot actually say if they are, because uh, the deputy governor has been sent out of the government house, is now outside the government house. And uh, the, the deputy governor has his own ambition. And you know, every normal human being should have an internal logos for self-evaluation. If he is, he too can be a governor. But the governor has his own agenda, and he's telling him, as a governor, uh, I have the right to determine who succeeds me. So you, deputy governor, you cannot be governor. And you know, too, that uh, the governor almost invariably determines who in his party uh, who succeeds him. And that is where the problem lies, ambition against authority. But as I can assure you that uh, no matter what, it is the problem of a reconciled enemy. The, 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 governor, the, deputy the, governor. Deputy governor, the, the governor accused the deputy governor of plotting a coup. Because when they were inaugurating the House of Assembly, the deputy, he said the deputy called some leaders in APC that he, will, he has people that will join their members so that they produce the speaker. That was antithetical to the spirit and desire of the governor. He first lighted that it was a coup. And you know that in such coup, no matter what, even though it was not executed, the general principle is that the planning of a coup and its actual execution carried the same penalty. So the governor met it at the penalty. Even in the church, in God's house, when the deputy governor wanted to greet the governor, he rebuffed him. So everything is going on until the gov deputy governor apologized, pleaded that he's his elder brother, he has put the past behind, but that ambition is his personal thing. And don't forget, ambition is a despot who spares no man. That ambition is his own, and that uh, nobody can tell him not to have ambition. That is where we are. Today, the deputy governor is there as deputy governor, whether nominally or in actual practice as a governor, no, as deputy governor, no one knows now. But he's outside the government, government house. house. Now, finally, to yes. conclude, Honorable Ohombamu, uh, what strategies yes. do you recommend for candidates and political parties to effectively engage with Edo State's electorate and ensure the integrity and transparency of the electoral process as the governorship election draws uh, near? Yes, I will prefer the subject to the approval of our parties, uh, the leadership of APC. In my party, I will prefer the direct primaries. Because that one goes to the root of membership. Every Kakare member should show love, should be involved. We should, we should open the, we should unlock the closet of, uh, you know, democratic participation. Because the cure for the ease of democracy is more democracy. When few people are gathered to determine, then you start using money money influence, then power can go any way. Because, of course, you know our people, because of the poverty, it will the go land, to the highest bidder. People have been so, 
Thank you. So that one will not be democracy uh, uh, stricto sensu. But when it's uh, all the members, car, car, uh, car carrying members of the party, then we'll be talking of democracy simpliciter. That is what I want. That is primary okay. election. Let, let everybody, I mean, uh, direct primaries, let everybody go and vote for their candidate. How much can you give to thousands of people? Like in my local government, where you have over 20, 25,000 voting, others, then in the state, you'll be talking of close to 1 million. You cannot buy those ones. So it is your good will, your okay. nature. Thank you what so you much, Honorable Oren your... I'm sorry we have to go. We've run out of time. And the program. Thank you so much uh, for your time, Honorable Paul Ohomba, Edo South APC Chieftain. Uh, that's all we can take on today's edition of Politics HQ. I am Benga Bora. See you next time. Bye bye.